Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll continue learning about linear models and specifically talk about least angled regression. So here we'll focus only on the intuition. In next video, we'll do the actual coding. We'll look at what is Lars or uh, least angle regression, uh, the algorithm and the intuition behind it. And I also mentioned the papers for uh, which are these one reference paper uh, these are two papers that if you need further information uh, please feel free to review them and what is LARS so LARS least angle regression where S is for uh, comes from lasso stage wise and lasso part of it uh, here are a couple of notations before we get into for the slides linear uh, when we are talking about linear space x x1 and x2 what we are uh, uh, talking about is uh, imagine there are two predictors or two features uh, and these are x1 and x2 so the area spanned by those two features is uh, denoted by this symbol linear l and there's in parenthesis x1 and x2 now the output or the uh, output or response is y and when we are projecting that on this linear space it is denoted by y bar and here this is y bar 2 there is also y bar 1 so that's just the example shown here now x1 x2 these are can be called predictor feature or covariates and in generalizing terms uh, they are also called as xk or X, xj uh, so here k could mean any real number 1 2 3 or j could mean 1 2 3 then these are prediction vectors mu hat 0 and mu hat 1 and we'll see where they come up and then projection as we talked about so y bar 1 and y bar 2 those are the projections then unit vector along bisector mu 2 so that uh, that is also in uh, the u2 that's also in one of the slides now the prediction y uh, is equal to this uh, equation beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 so here the beta 1 and beta 2 those are the coefficients so we'll call them coefficients and the generalized term would be beta j and uh, the dot product between xj uh, which is the predictor or the feature and the residual residual means the difference between the actual value and the predicted value so uh, so that is denoted by this expression within the square angled brackets xj comma r now let's look at the uh, algorithm the very first step is to standardize all the features so that they have a mean of zero and variance of one here uh, the features are denoted by xj so it could be x1 x2 x3 and so on and at the same time we want to get the very first residual which would be just the intercept as all the coefficients or all the features are set to zero now among all the features that we have we want to find that one feature which is most correlated with the current residual that we have which is based on just the intercept once we have that feature here it is xj then uh, we want to update the value of the coefficient beta j that is for that particular coefficient xj uh, towards least square coefficient and we want to do move in that direction until we find another co another feature that has a similar co correlation with the residual as uh xj had with r so in this case let's say uh, the new feature is xk and it it has the same correlation now with the residual that xj has with the residual 
so uh, at this time now the active set of features that we are considering are xj and xk and each and they have the coefficients beta j and beta k uh, again the reason why we are considering two features now is because in step three we found that while we are working on the beta j coefficient for xj the feature xk had the same correlation as uh, with the residual r as xj had correlation with the residual r so now in step four we calculate again the beta j and beta k uh, and we move in the direction defined by the uh, joint least square coefficients on the current residuals uh, for these features xj and xk so we continue along this direction until we find another feature xl that has the same correlation with the current residual uh, which is based on an xj and xk so the direction in which we move here is the direction as we'll see later is the direction uh, that is equal so uh, it bisects through the space such that uh, it bisects the angle between those two features so it moves in equiangular direction and that's what least angle regression is about and finally once we have find uh, xl once xl is reached we may find another xm feature that has the similar correlation with the residual as with the previous uh, active set of uh, features had the correlation with the residual and so we uh, continue this process until we reach the full least square solution so just to reiterate that we start with standardizing the data set with mean of zero variance of one and we find the very first residual r which is just based on the intercept all coefficients are zero then we find just one feature and thus we'll have just one coefficient to work with now we use that coefficient for that feature uh, predict some values and find the residual now there for each time we do that in incremental steps there will be a point where other features would have the same correlation with the current residual uh, that is created by the feature xj and beta j uh, at that point what we want to do is update the active set of features so we want to bring in the new feature xk so now we have two features in the active set and so two coefficients in the active set which is beta j and beta k again we use that to predict a value again we find the residual the difference between the actual and predicted value and we look at the correlation and check with other variables if there is any other very uh, check with other features to see if, if any other feature has the same correlation with the residual as the current set of features have and we want to repeat this process until we reach the full least squares solution if it's not clear on this slide in the following slides we'll look at some uh, you know, intuition plot uh, uh, diagrams uh, hope that will make it little more clear as to how this works so uh, as we saw this is our uh, linear space with uh, two vectors only x1 and x2 and uh, we start with the prediction where mu hat is set to zero as uh, shown here and then uh, we pick the most correlated variable to the residual in this case we are picking x1 because the residual r uh, that is shown here can also be is 
equal to this y2 uh, minus mu hat of 0 which is making the smaller angle with x1 in this case as compared to x2 uh, as shown here and therefore this particular residual has greater correlation with x1 than x2 and so we move in the direction of x1 uh, incrementally and update the value of mu so mu mu 0 to mu 0 we add to mu hat 0 we add uh, product of gamma 1 ha gamma hat 1 and x1 so gamma is the quantity by which we are in incrementing at each step and so at some point uh, such as here shown in blue dot we reach uh, where the correlation between uh, the residual and the feature x1 and the feature residual and feature x2 is same and that's when we start moving in a direction that is uh, shown here in u2 which is bisecting this angle x2 u mu1 mu hat 1 and x1 so we are moving towards y bar 2 along this particular path and while doing so we are again going to increment so we incremented the y2 to be y mu hat 1 plus gamma hat 2 and mu 2 and so we once we reach there we find there is another third variable uh, third feature x3 that now has equal correlation with the residual and therefore that's the new direction in the code snippet uh, this is the format we'll use uh, uh, importing library numpy and linear model then this is the train data train and test data set and then uh, we initialize a variable reg with linear more linear underscore model dot lars with capital l and then fit it on the x train and y train and then uh, use reg dot predict on the test set so that was it for this video i hope in this video you got at least some intuition about what least angle regression is and outline of what uh, the algorithm is if you need further information i'll highly recommend uh, uh, reading through the text of the referenced papers although there is some uh, math in it uh, it also has uh, general uh, explanation for the algorithm in next video we'll look at the implementation of lars lasso and also look at how we can create plots uh, which are path plots for the coefficients uh, that will allow us to see how the coefficients become non-zero and how they change as the alpha value changes during a uh, least square bit that was it then for this video i hope to see you all in the next video until then please like share and subscribe thank you